Yo, yo, yo. It's D. Arthur in the building. Talking to you guys today about why semen retention is superior to no fat and how you can attract, uh, how you can really become who you really want to be when you're on semen retention as opposed to no fat. Now, the reason why semen retention is more, let's say, superior to no fat because semen, re semen retention is the act of retaining your semen of fluid and consciously deciding not to bust, basically. Now, no fap is you consciously decide not to masturbate. And you basically, you, sh you don't stroke the chicken. But the thing is, you can still lose some some fluids and stuff if you're on no fap. So, in order to have to maximize the most benefits and be le become, let's say, more more potent, more dangerous in your life, where you're becoming a creator instead of a victim, you must practice semen retention. Semen retention will help you get there. It will help you attract women effortlessly. If there's ever been a girl that you've been... Um, Deciding whether it's how to pull her, how to do this, how to intrigue her, how to get her in her court. The bottom line is the guys who, let's say, the people who struggle mostly when it comes to that, let's say, setting attraction, is just that they just haven't utilized, they're not, they're, they're just not masculine enough when it comes down to it. They just haven't gone a, a longer period on semen retention, on, let's say, no fab, to really become let's say their true self and once you become let's say your true self you can attract any woman with ease the bottom line is just they they just don't become masculine enough their guys are just not masculine en enough these days they care too much what she thinks they're yielding to her instead of her yielding to them they think they put her on a pedestal they chase her they get they get sad if they don't if she doesn't text her back they start asking questions if she's doing this, she's do, if she if she flakes, if she does that, if she goes cold. Guys, these men these days are just not masculine enough. And holding your semen of fluid and your your being on semen retention and practicing discipline, the most the most potent thing that you can do, the most dangerous thing you can do, hold your semen and discipline yourself so you don't bust. That takes another type of man. And if you can do that, if you can do that repetitively, repetitively over, let's say, a period of time, you're going to get what you want from life. Because in order to actually acquire anything in this dimension, in this, three, in this 3D reality, you have to have some discipline. You have to have some discipline. And cement retention helps you gain discipline. It helps you become... Who you really want to be it helps you become a full stack man it helps it helps you take care of things it helps you become productive it helps you become charismatic it helps you not care as much it helps you look at women in the eye instead of them looking instead of being scared of them it helps you hold eye contact it really just helps you in all areas of your life it, it helps you in the gym you i heard someone say that you it looks like you take you just become a you become very masculine on retention and your your strength increases tenfold. All these things just become who you become. This is who you become when you start retaining your semen. You become you come you become more divine. Your divine self enters starts starts manifesting itself into this reality. You start getting insight in things that you want to do. Things start going in your favor. You just become who you really want to be. And if you're, let's say, struggling, let's say, with women, if you're, if you're not, if you're not pulling, if, if she seems to be cold on you, if she, if she isn't reacting the way that you wanted her to, the bottom line is, like I said, it's just men are just not masculine enough. They're just not becoming masculine enough because a masculine man doesn't really care what she does. A masculine man is on his purpose. A masculine man isn't chasing. A masculine man isn't yielding to her. A masculine man isn't a changing frame. He is he is walking in a straight line and he is purposeful with every interaction. 
And now, in order to actually get her to, let's say, get intrigued by you, so you can do what you want with her, you gotta be, you gotta be above her. You gotta be above her in the spectrum of things. You just have to have a lot more things going on than she does. You have to be not as focused on her as much. You have to not really care about what she does. You have to really not care whether she's posting a pic with somebody else or she's missing your text message or these like, these games like women like to play. You really just have to not care as much. Like, uh, another thing is like just men care too much about what she does. If you care too much, then you're probably going to lose. If you if you're if you're if you have a lot of other things let's say going on and things are let's say happening for you, then you're pretty much not going to care as much because you actually have things to you actually have things to worry about. So get busy. Uh, start a hobby. Treat women like your shadow. If you start ch if you start chasing your shadow, it's not going to go anywhere. But if you walk in a straight line to a to a destination, your shadow's going to effortlessly follow you on purpose. So and semen retention really helps you explain become the person that you really want to be. Your vocal projection might be a little bit more deeper. Um, your 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 charisma. You you really you, you start you start treating women like they're they're children, and you're like, and you're you'll say you're you're kind of like their their dad or something like that. Or in a sense, you ju you just become a little bit more purposeful with your interactions and you start you don't you, you start looking at, at at them as they are a lot of guys just care too much they just care 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 too much she's not doing this she's not doing this she's flaking on this why is she doing this the moment you realize that if you have other things let's say going on that mean more to you than than she does then that's the time that's the moment you actually won you finally won and you finally understand because it, because it, it takes it takes experience to realize that if you're constantly focusing on if she's where she is, how she's gonna do this, how you're gonna do this, you're kind of missing the point. The point is, be masculine, be purposeful in yourself. Don't care if she's flaking, if she's doing this, if she's doing that, and really just be a purposeful all-around guy and have fun being alone. And the moment you're fun by yourself. The moment you're fun, uh, you're having fun by yourself, and you really just don't care about any uh, the outcome of anything anymore. Like you don't care if she texts you back, you don't care if she acts like this, you don't care if she's doing this, you do you don't care. The moment you start like not caring and actually living your life happily without her, is the moment uh, everybody starts gravitating towards you. It's like your desire. The moment you start putting your desire on a pedestal. And you think your desire is above you, and you're doing all this effort to try to impress, let's say, your desire, it's gonna run away. It's gonna feel that. It's gonna sense that in you, and it's gonna run away. So you have to kind of treat, let's say, the person you want, or maybe your desire or something that you want to acquire in your life, as it's like playing field, as it's it's in the same playing field as you, and you almost have to take it for granted. An example. This is my hypo hypothesis when it comes to, let's say, somebody like, let's say, an example for like Tom Brady. Tom Brady has seven Super Bowl, su Super Bowl rings. And to, to the normal man, that seems outrageous and it seems like it's how is that possible. But the thing is, I think Tom Brady, Tom Brady's brain is uh, hardwired a little bit differently. I think he, he might be... He he has it in his mind that he's entitled to those rings. Like if there's no there's no, if, if there's anybody who's gonna win get those rings, it's him. He has this thing where he's entitled to his desire, and he he works out or he does everything. He he forms good habits every single day, and he he has the prize on his on the back of the mind of his mind every single time. Because a lot of people, because another thing, a lot of people, when they get to, let's say, they they reach their heights or they reach where they want to be, they start crying. And you crying and you crying, um, it, it, it kind of makes you think that you're not you you're, you're not worthy of what you're, you're what you what you desire. See, when uh, when Tom Brady was 
when they won the Super uh, the championship game and they were going to the Super Bowl, one of his teammates started crying. And then Tom Brady was like, what, what are you crying for? We're not done yet. This is the kind of mentality that you need to have when you start acquiring things, when women start acting, when they stop, stop overlooking you and they start wanting to be uh, with you. You have to treat them as if it's just another thing, as if it, they're just another human, as if they're just... They're just, they're just um, things that you're already used to. The, the men who aren't used to them, they start treating it like they're on a pedestal. They start treating them, treating them like they're the greatest thing to ever walk the face of the earth. And let's say women can sense this from men and then they uh, immediately their rejection mechanisms go off because they're thinking, hey, this man isn't used to a girl like me. I guess I'm better than him. Let me look out for the next man. And they keep doing this and doing this until they find a man who's finally worthy enough. So when the woman attraction starts happening to your life, you have to realize that this happens to you normally. This is normal. She's normal. She's normal. If she acts, if she acts very feminine around you, it's normal. Start acting, start normalizing the things that you want in your life. Start realizing that they're already there. So stop acting surprised if it happens to you. And stop giving yourself doubt if it doesn't happen to you. You have to be who you you have to be who you want to be before it happens to you. This is the only way it can actually happen to you. Because if you're not if you don't if you're not who you want to be before it happens to you, then you're you're telling the world that you're not ready for what you want. If that makes sense. So start normalizing your desire, your, the woman that you want, the whatever it is that you want, as it's something that's normal and it's there, like it's there all the time and then once you start doing this your let's your quote unquote a vibrational match for your desire and the thing that you want effortless effortlessly comes into your life after you stop focusing it on your on it and after you start start starting realizing that you're worthy for it right now instead of waiting for time for time to keep on passing so yeah on semen retention semen retention is a little bit more potent than no fat and you can become a Don Juan when you're on retention so like comment and subscribe below also I put down a four day video training series on how to effortlessly attract let's say women come into your life when you're on retention so check down that click on that link below and we'll see you in the next one peace